Hello there. Good to see you this morning. I'm popping into the Psalms today for an exhortation to praise the Lord. So many of the Psalms contain phrases like this, but they are just magnificent. And, and this is what we should be doing at Christmas, um, praising God for what he's done and for his goodness and his kindness and his love. And Psalm 145, verse 1, I will extol thee, my God and my King, and bless your name forever and ever. There's that wonderful word, my, in there. Uh, you know, our relationship to God is very personal. He is our, he is our God, he is your God, he is my God. That is, that is almost enough, isn't it? The fact that we are, we have a voice to praise him. We have a human, we can express our praises to him. We can bless him forever and ever. If you don't spend much time praising God, if your first thought in the morning is not, praise God, he's given me another day to live for him. If, if it's not, if, if you never have that kind of reaction, if you, then you're going to be very bored for a lot of eternity because in eternity the angels, as they did at the first Christmas, will be blessing the Lord and praising him and giving him glory. And verse 2 says, Every day I will bless thee and praise thy name for ever and ever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised and his greatness is unsearchable. Verse 4, One generation shall lord thy works to another and shall declare thy mighty acts. This is what we should be telling our children and our grandchildren, that the greatest thing God ever did began uh, on Christmas Day, on the first Christmas Day. It began with the event that we celebrate on Christmas Day, the, the giving of his own son. We, we hope and we pray that those who teach our children in schools do not forget that Christmas is not all about Santa and all about Father Christmas and all about presents and red and reindeer and 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 flying across the sky with and Christmas trees and baubles and, and crackers and all that stuff. It's about Jesus coming. It's about the coming of the Messiah. It's about God stepping into time. It's about the greatness of God expressed in a very practical <clears throat> saving action, sending Jesus into the world. I will extol thee. There's something to say to yourself. I will extol him. I will extol my God and my King. My God. He is the one who made us. He's the one who gave us everything. He is supernatural. He is outside of our time and outside of our world. But he's also our King. And choosing, choosing to submit to a king is a very, is, is, is a choice. <clears throat> Just like acknowledging God as our God is a choice. We choose to live as citizens of the kingdom, living by his rules, living by his ordinances, living by his commands, living in acknowledgement every day that we are people of the kingdom. We are citizens of the kingdom. We don't really belong here and we won't realise our citizenship fully until we go to his kingdom. But he is our king, the king of kings and lord of lords. Every day I will bless thee and praise thy name for ever and ever. One generation shall lord thy works to another and shall declare thy mighty acts. That's our responsibility, not the angels, but our responsibility to tell the next generation about Jesus and about what he's done for us. And that's a wonderful privilege, but also a responsibility that, as well as praying for the next generation, we should be telling them. We should make sure that the children know that it's all about Jesus. And we just thank God for the next generation. Thank God for a day in which to lift up the name of Jesus and to celebrate his coming. Have a great day today. I hope you're really blessed. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.
拜拜，拜拜。